Let's look at the reward of righteousness. Before that, we want to understand what righteousness is. These two scriptures tell us what righteousness is. For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one, Jesus, shall many be made righteous. Here in the scripture, we see that we were made sinners, which means we inherited the nature of sin by Adam's disobedience, but in the same way, we are made righteous by Jesus' obedience. So righteousness is confirmed here as the nature of God in the born again through Christ. And now we go to the other scripture that adds to the first definition of righteousness. It says here, little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous even as he is righteous. So over here, we see that righteousness is something that we do or practice. It is the work of the Spirit, a walk in love, and a walk in the truth of the Word of God. Putting these two scriptures together, righteousness is both an inherited nature and the living out or the practice of that nature. The nature produces the deeds and the deeds confirms the nature so that by faith in Christ, we receive the nature. However, that faith produces works because faith without works is dead. Now that we understand what righteousness is, let's take a look at the reward of righteousness. First off, righteousness affirms our identity as children of God. It says here, everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him, that is born of God and therefore is a child of God. Another reward is the reward of the inheritance of the kingdom of God. It says here, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And that means the righteous will inherit the kingdom. Another reward is the reward of provision. Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Another reward is is the reward of protection and it says here whoever is born of God sins not but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself and the wicked one or Satan touches him not then there is a reward of peace and it says that the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace this is what righteousness is and these are the reward of righteousness